Hey, it's George Levy, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about why blockchain is the future. I am talking about this directly from everything that I have learned, being an instructor in blockchain, working with over 100,000 people in more than 190 countries, and expressing exactly the same thoughts as I see the world developing and developing in a path that I'm not very comfortable with. Now the key thing I want to tell you why blockchain is the future is that blockchain enables you to have a single source of truth that's permanent and immutable that can be verified by anyone. So let me start explaining to you what I mean by that. So first and foremost, what I want to point out is we have a single source of truth, okay? We have a single source of truth. Another key point I want to tell you is that it is permanent and immutable. Okay? If you're not familiar with the term immutable, it means that it is unchanging. Once something is recorded, it can't be changed. And the best part about it all is that it can be verifiable. And I'm actually talking in this case within a public blockchain. So if you're dealing with a public blockchain like Bitcoin, all, all the information on the Bitcoin blockchain has been recorded permanently immutably, and it can be verified by anybody. That's why if I actually send some Bitcoins to someone else, I don't have to find out and wait for a bank to tell me if a transaction cleared. I can check for myself on a block explorer and I can simply verify myself. I always like to say, do not trust, always verify. I don't have to trust if a transaction went through, I can simply go on a block explorer and see it myself. This is very, very different from how the world is currently structured. And the reason is because if I have some money in a bank and I actually send you some of that money, you have to wait until your bank clears the check from my bank because my bank knows how much money I have, your bank knows how much money you have. But if I send you some money, your bank has to wait until that check clears so that you can get that money. But you see, there's not a single source of truth. The fact is, my bank has a version, your bank has a version, and that's how the world is structured all around us, right? In Bitcoin, you have a single source of truth. The Bitcoin blockchain has a record of every single transaction that has ever taken place in Bitcoin, which is permanent and immutable. That means that nobody can come in and change the truth. The truth is permanent and immutable. It's unchangeable. Not only that, I can verify for myself if the transaction took place or not. Very, very different from, for example, banks. As I mentioned, if I want to send you some money right now, I can't simply just take some money and send it to you. I mean, I guess I could take some bills, physical bills, put them in an, in an envelope and send them to you, right? That's possible. But digitally, I can't send you money without using a third party, such as a bank, Western Union, PayPal, or some sort of money transfer service. If I'm going to send you some Bitcoins, I can simply take from my Bitcoin wallet, I get your Bitcoin address, and I create a transaction. That transaction is going directly from me to you and gets transferred on the Bitcoin network all around the world, which has a copy. There's multiple copies of the Bitcoin blockchain with every single transaction that has ever taken place. So that's the power of blockchain. Instead of having different versions of the truth, my bank says how much money I have. Your bank says how much money you have, right? In Bitcoin, there's one record of every single Bitcoin that exists right now and it's recorded in transactions all over the Bitcoin blockchain. That's a single permanent version of how the Bitcoin network is structured. Who has how many Bitcoins? And in fact, it's which Bitcoin addresses have those Bitcoins? So why am I telling you all this? Because this doesn't necessarily have to apply exclusively to money or Bitcoins. It can be applied to physical assets. For example, I buy tuna from a company called Bumblebee. Bumblebee, each can has a code on it. And you can see it in one of my videos. One of my videos, I actually show you exactly how it's done. That can has a token associated with it. And as the tuna that eventually winds up in my can makes it through the supply chain, eventually it gets placed into that one can. So I know through that token or that specific code, every single step that the tuna made all the way from the ocean into the can. And in my video, I show you exactly how it all works. But the point I'm trying to tell you is that what we have right now in the world is that we have what I like to consider a crisis of truth. And the fact is, what is truth, right? So for instance, sometimes, especially during the pandemic, a lot of stuff that was being shared was labeled as misinformation. It was blocked. It was not allowed. And then after the pandemic, all of a sudden, many of the things that were not allowed to be shared turned out to be accurate. 
So what we're seeing is that truth was actually being blocked. Why? Because centralized entities were controlling the flow of truth, right? In Bitcoin, that doesn't happen. If I send some Bitcoins to someone, it's irrelevant who that person may be or what it may be. As long as I have a Bitcoin address, I can send Bitcoins to that. Nobody can stop me. Nobody can say you can't send Bitcoins to this address because Bitcoin is decentralized. There are no rules that say I can send or I can't send. So to put a clear example, when WikiLeaks got into a bad situation with the government, the government shut down all their bank accounts, but they could still take Bitcoin. And that's what I want to point out to you. So where I'm heading with the future of uh, the future of blockchain, here's the key thing. We're all moving into what's known as Web3, okay? And this is going to be a very important topic, which you need to know. When the web originally began, we did not have all these centralized entities that right now control most of the uh, transfer of information all over the web. We didn't have the Facebooks of the world. We didn't have the Twitters of the world, the Googles of the world that can implement their controls that say this can't be published or this can be published or we're going to feature this one, but we're going to block this one, right? That didn't happen before. This is what we're trying to move into within Web3. The idea is to move towards decentralization. And I go back into that concept. The fact is, the fact is that when something is decentralized, there is no central entity that can say this is allowed and this isn't allowed. That's why Bitcoin is so powerful. Nobody has to give me permission to receive some Bitcoins. In fact, my Bitcoins in my wallet, if I have the keys to the Bitcoins in that wallet, I control those. And if I lose those keys, nobody else has access to those keys, to those Bitcoins. Why? Because I control the private keys to that. And that's a very important topic I want to tell you. Very, very different, for example, the money that's in my bank. Even though I technically have my money in the bank, I don't really have that money. The bank has my money. And I have access to my money because my bank lets me access my money. Very, very different from the Bitcoins that I have in my wallet. What I have in my wallet, I control. I have the keys to be able to send those Bitcoins to someone else or not. I control those Bitcoins. I have those Bitcoins. And that's my key lesson for you. The reason why blockchain is the future is because blockchain enables us to have a single source of truth that's permanent, immutable, and verifiable. And this is the path towards Web3, which is the next version of the internet. Hope you found this video valuable. If you haven't yet subscribed, I encourage you to hit subscribe and hit the bell so you're staying up to date every time I publish brand new videos. Again, I'm George Levy from Blockchain Institute of Technology, and we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. Hope you found the video valuable, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm George Levy. We're changing the world one blockchain at a time. See you next time.